How's it going YouTube? It's Fuzzy XYZ here. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm going to bring you a deck profile. Um, and it is Prophecy. I have my deck back. Uh, the king has returned. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so good to have Prophecy back. Um, I actually played this at Huddersfield Regionals yesterday. Um, I did okay, to be honest. Um, I've not done as much testing as I would have wanted to. Um, I've had this deck for about two weeks now. Uh, the first week of having it, I was really ill, um, but I did actually take it to a winner box and I came in top eight there. Um, and then this past week, I've been actually really, really busy. Um, I've had some huge changes in my life and stuff like that. Um, re some really, really good news, um, but I will tell you all about that in an upcoming uh, update video. Um, so yeah, I didn't do as much testing as I wanted to, but the deck performed really, really well. Uh, like I said, I went 4-3, uh, which is very respectable. Um, it's just a shame I couldn't do better. Um, I had a couple of uh, issues throughout the day and I got a bit annoyed and stuff like that. Um, but hey, it happens, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, gotta get over it and look forward to the next one. So I thought I'd bring you my deck profile of Prophecy. Um, so onto the monsters. Three Blue Boy. Standard, every Prophecy deck runs three blue boy. Um, it's just your main search of the deck. Um, I did play the Temperance build. Um, I just like it a lot more better. Uh, just because World is absolutely amazing. Um, a lot of decks have ex Extinction Knight. Um, you have World. <laughs> um, Lights ones have the JD. You have World. Um, it's an absolutely busted effect, especially because you get it's one of the easiest ways to reuse Fate as well. Um, so Temperance is just the main card to get it out. Um, two Priestess, I've got my baby back. <laughs> um, Favourite card of all time, put in so much work yesterday, absolutely love Priestess. And the One World. Uh, to accompany it, um, this was only dead in hand twice, unfortunately it was in the same match. Uh, just for drawing it basically. Um, like drawing this before I could get to a Temperance, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey, it happens. And the final card is one Veiler. Um, I didn't expect a lot of Fire Fist to be there, and in looking around the venue and stuff like that, it did look like there were a lot. Unfortunately, I didn't go against any Fire Fist players or Gear Gaia. Um, <coughs> so this was pretty much rendered useless, and it was sided out a lot, um, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would have been an amazing tech. Uh, onto the spells uh, three Secrets, standard, uh, three Crescent. Um, this performed really, really well for me, actually. Um, I more or less opened a combination of this um, Blue Boy and Secrets um, at least more or less every single game. I think there was only one time where I only opened one piece um, of the combo. Um, but having at least two or three of the combo just allows you to get full setup straight away first turn. Which is absolutely amazing because it just sets you up for the rest of the game. Um, you have so much advantage drawing off world, uh, drawing off tower, sorry, and being able to then uh, normal summon temperance and that and get even more advantage that way is just absolutely amazing. The consistency of this deck worked brilliant yesterday. Um, two tower, like I said, um, <clears throat> having um, three spellbooks in grave, a blue boy in the field, set fate, maybe a couple of traps, and a tower on the field is just absolutely perfect. Um, two Masters, uh, two Wisdom, I opted to play two, um, there is a lot of back row heavy decks at, at this format, um, even the ones that are very fast like Gear Guys and stuff, they still run a lot of back row, so you need to, I'd rather protect my world. Um, <clears throat> it happened yesterday where I normal summoned my Temperance, um, he tried Trenchling, um, so I Wisdomed my, uh, my Temperance. And then tribute off to get world, and he tried bottomless. Luckily, I had the uh, the second wisdom to protect that one, so I'd got through all his back row, and then I just added one of it back one of these back row world effects, so I had even more protection, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, two eternity. Uh, oops, sorry, not the table. Um, obviously, I played priestess uh, and fate and that, so you do have a lot of things banished. So essentially, your banished pile is like your deck, and this is another secret. <laughs> uh, the one of one power. One fate, absolutely busted, and one life. Unfortunately, I didn't get to resolve this once. It always got a misdeed. <laughs> uh, on uh, oh my bad. <laughs> uh, the other, the non spellbook stuff is one book of moon, 
and 3 MST. No dark hole, um, you have your world for that kind of stuff and you have priestess blowing stuff up left, right and centre. Um, the MSTs were mainly due to, uh, like I said, there's a lot of back row heavy decks and fire fists, but uh, like I reiterate, there was no fire fist that I went against. Um, <clears throat> onto the traps, two mirror force, uh, two fiendish chain, in my opinion one of the best traps of the format. Uh, two Rye Break for my discard outlet. Um, I don't like Phoenix Wing Wing Blast um, and Divine Wrath is a really, really good card. It's a shame I just can't find space for it. Uh, the one of one Warning, one Bottomless and one Torrential. So it's a 40 card deck and like I said the consistency worked absolutely amazing. Um, I absolutely love the deck. Um, oh my bad. Uh, for the extra deck uh, I played one Hierophant, one Big Eye, and one Drago Sack for my rank 7s. Fortunately, didn't make any of them all day. <laughs> uh, one Downed Magician. I almost went into this every single round. Um, I normally made like a rank 2, um, did some damage, or uh, was able to add some resources back, etc., and then just overlaid into this, which is just a 2 5 beater. Uh, one Zim means, one Phoenix. Made this a couple of times. Uh, made this and unfortunately I got a game loss, uh, but I don't want to talk about that, yeah, move on from that one. <laughs> uh, one Shining Elf made this against Evil Swarms and I don't think I made Gachi, uh, but it's just in there as a, a defensive card. And then due to the fact that I play uh, the main deck Veiler, uh, I played some Synchros, so I played Stardust, Scrapdragon and Crimson Blader. Arcanite and Army Arm. Uh, shout out to my teammate Ben, he did lend me some cards yesterday, uh, so he lent me a Catasta and he lent me a card from my side deck as well, so huge shout out to Ben. Um, my cat tokens, uh, bow and moves. <laughs> um, for the side deck, I played two Maxi. Uh, like I said, I only played against one Mermails yesterday, um, and I didn't play against any Gear Guy or anything that special summoned a lot, which was pretty disappointed. So these didn't go in at all. Uh, two Twister, these went in quite a lot actually. Um, especially just as more spell and trap removal. Um, I did have to Twister a couple of um, Phoenix Chains and uh, Field Spells such as Gates. Um, and in the Mirror Match too, um, got rid of some Lives and some Towers. And the other one was DNA Surgery which I had to get rid of. Uh, two system down, like I said, no gear guy that I went against, so these didn't go in at all. Um, overworked, no fire fists. Uh, rivalry, I did end up going against a Evil Swan player, so these was just absolutely amazing. Uh, MVP of the side deck had to be two mind crush. I think these went in more or less every single round, except against the Dark World and Evil Swarm. So, five rounds of these actually went in. Um, I played quite a couple of mirror matches and one mirror mail and stuff like that, and these were just absolutely amazing. Um, one Soul Drain, uh, one Light Imprisoning, and then, like I said, I played uh, one Shadow Mirror as well, but I lent it off my teammate Ben. Um, <clears throat> one Light and one Shadow. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had something for more or less every single deck, so I wanted to play one of each. Um, which made it that against like Evil Swarms and Constellas, I could side in a Shadow or a Light and then two Rivalries. Um, and it meant that these could take care of Bujins and Infernities and stuff like that as well. So I just wanted to make sure that I was prepared for every single deck. <coughs> um, yeah, that's basically it guys. Um, the decks that I went against was two Mirror Match, um, one Dark World, one Evil Swarm, one Mermail, one um, Fairy Spirit Counter deck, and one Frogs. And I went for free, which is not bad. Um, and I'm basically just looking forward and uh, to the upcoming regionals. I think I've got four or five regionals left of this uh, format, uh, which is actually really, really good. And then I've got one in the new format, I believe, <coughs> which is actually uh, my locals. Um, other than that, guys, the deck worked out absolutely amazing. Um, if you have any advice or tips on how to change the deck, then I always look forward to your comments and always uh, read upon your help. <coughs> other than that, uh, like I said, I will do an update video tomorrow so you can um, understand why I might not be uploading as much and get to hear about some changes in my life. 
Other than that, guys, it's been FuzzyXYZ. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later, YouTube.